Midian. Midian. The Midian. In Deuteronomy 26, 1 to 5. And with the Israelites making a particular offering were to confess, a wandering Arabian was my father.
God's reaction to Solomon's request was consistent with God's New Testament instruction in Matthew 6 33. That people should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things. Jerry, bless him. Should I be added unto you? Yeah, he prayed for wisdom. I know what he did. I tried that, actually. It's weird. You get on this learning curve. Todd. It was weird. Do that thing that Solomon did. He prayed for wisdom. It's weird. Man. If you get wisdom right from the beholder, like Solomon asked for, he prayed for wisdom. Solomon in righteousness is top priority. Priority number one, righteousness here. And God had material blessings as a direct result. You got a disco ball in front of you. Uh, they pause for this commercial break. You got, you got any hymnals or anything? Has it been more than three days since you had a good bowel movement? About four days, I don't know. I need to get that, I need to get more magnesium. More magnesium. We'll pile it. We'll start back after this. We ponder monogamy or polygamy. Is polygamy the rule among Muslims? While the Quran permits polygamy, many Muslims have a little life because of the numerous widows that were left after costly battles. Now, the Quran made room for polygamy, and if you fear that you will not deal fairly by the orphans, very ugly women who seem good to you. Two or three or four. And if you fear that you cannot do justice to so many, then only one, only one, only with the captives that your right hand possessed. The biography of Muhammad by Ibtisha mentions that Muhammad married a wealthy widow. God, uh, 15 years his senior. After her death, he married many women. When he died, he left nine widows. Another form of marriage in Islam is called the muta. It is defined as a special contract concluded between a man and a woman. No, that was a, that's forbidden. That's forbidden. That's Shiite. That's that Shiite stuff you were talking about yesterday. That's a side gallery like contract for permanent marriage. Islam al Muma. Islam al Muna by Mustafa al Rafai. The story is called the marriage for pleasure and the a marriage to be terminated in a specific period states the same source. The children of such marriages are legitimate and have the same rights as the children of a permanent marriage. Apparently, this form of temporary marriage was practiced in Muhammad's day, and he allowed it. Sunnis insist that it was originally imamis. A lot of the Shia group believe that it is still in effect. In fact, many practice it. Especially when a man is absent from...